Hello again, it's Patty's Hobby World. Today we have a rainy, rainy day, so my lighting, I had to adjust my lighting a little bit, and uh, I hope that uh, you will be able to create the same look. I had to reduce some of the warm, warmness of the, uh, of the photo, so I hope this is a good shot. Today I'll be coloring uh, one of our um, bridal parties, um, hair, and I'm going to be using... Um, Prisma colors today and uh, work with uh, I, I think we're gonna use I think she looks like she could be a, a junior bride or maybe um, a bridesmaid so let's get started so as you recall or in my last videos if you haven't seen they are um, posted we started with the hair uh, demonstration tutorials and uh, we're gonna have fun with it because I uh, I decided to uh, I think I did get a, 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 a message or some indication that these were bridal hairstyles so here was um, grandma or auntie we did a gray shot um, and we're gonna keep all the flowers consistent in the bridal party so that was grandma's hairstyle. All right. And then the other video content I have posted is now we weren't sure if this was going to be the bride or a sister, aunt. Well, maybe, maybe a sister. It looks like a younger haircut. Um, bridesmaid, matron of honor. So we'll have to see as we continue to color. I have like 13 hairstyles. So we'll have fun with this, all right? But now we're going to do the junior bride or the or the bride um, flower girl, okay? I hope everyone is having a good week. And uh, and are well and safe. In these times all right let's go here's my uh, color chart for the Prisma colors um, I only have the as you know I only have the uh, 72 and I need to get the uh, the hundred and I think it's 150 so it comes in this color three trays and say hello to Lucy Avocado because I think she's going to come into the shop real quick. Or maybe she, she was just checking to make sure I have everything ready. You're going to come visit, Lucy? So I'm going to put these on the side. And we are going to color her hair. Now this is, um, she is a younger girl. So let's try to make her hair fun. Everybody says, oh, don't, don't keep doing natural hair color. Let's do her, let's give her some pink hair. How about that? All right, so we are going to use, uh, I think, uh, PC 927, 928 and then let's go with a uh, 928 let's do an um, 994 although I do like 929 I'm gonna pull her out just in case um, and uh, but let's definitely get out um, 994. And I am looking for 994. 929, 
four. Here we go, I found it. There. Now that's a little dark, but I may just kind of, we'll watch that color. We'll put that on probation, pending status, okay? All right, so we have all of our tools, pencils, nine, PC 997, I mean 927, 929, 928, and 92, oh, I'm sorry, this is 925. And I said I needed 994. I'm sorry. It was, it did look strange. Okay, how about this? That's much better. There. How about that? Okay, so now we're ready. See, I knew, I knew something wasn't right. All right. All right, this is for the highlights. Just, we don't want the white. We want to create a highlight that says pink. And this color is called light peach. This is a good color for coloring um, com uh, complexion faces. All right. Just to get the light out. Oh, let's go to the head. I like all my, my tools around me. I feel a I have some in jars. Okay. So those are going to... Thank you for all to all of my subscribers. I got two new ones last night. Uh, what's her name? Um, Henderson and another girl. So thank you very much. So, keep subscribing. I love what I do, and I love for people to know, to see that. All right, so you see that? All right, so let's build on her now. Just. And these are grayscale. Okay, we're going to do the uh, 928, or should we do 92, yes, 928, Prismacolor's uh, Blush Pink, okay, and we're just going to go right in the middle, because we're going to make her hair pink, because the theme of this wedding is a light rose color. And I am sure that the, the dresses will be beautiful. I can imagine what the dresses are going to be. And this is just to get, to, to get the color down. You're going to watch several other videos, content channels, YouTube channels. I'm trying to learn the language, the lingo as they call it. That will have hair demonstrations. And you'll see they'll go strand by strand. I'll do the strand by strand later. Yeah, make some food. My daughter's on break. My daughter is on break, so she's going to get some food. Okay. Let me ask her. Come here for a second. Since this is a live streaming. All my pictures are wedding wedding hairdos. Mm -hmm. 
So who do you think she should, what part, what member of the party do you think she should be in? Obviously she looks like she's a younger girl. I'm going to say the, um, what's that, the bride's, uh, women that she has beside her. The, her bridesmaids? Yeah. Uh, she looks younger than a bridesmaid, but she can be, what about a junior bride? She could be a junior bride? Yeah, or the one bringing the ring down the aisle. Oh, the, the flower, uh, the, um, flower girl. the flower girl, yeah, yeah, that's right, I did mention that. But do you think flower girls are supposed to be little babies? Little, little tiny ones? Or she can be, uh, you know what? Sometimes. Sometimes. But I think junior bride is good. I think junior bride is good. So now I've started the, the flickering of the marker to create, I mean the pencil, to create realistic, a little bit of blending. Let me just color this in just a little bit because we're going to start getting deeper tones closer as the hair pulls together. Don't forget that little piece. Keeping away from the highlights, but making sure we get some uh, our medium shade in there. Okay, and it's one of the reasons why you uh, color the white, so it's not such a contrast. So her mother allowed her to do her hair pink for the wedding. After that, when school starts, this is just a temporary hair color for the wedding. <laughs> and uh, all right, so there you have it. Let's see what it looks like for you guys in the camera. Uh, see if I can bring you guys in just a little bit. Maybe let's work a little closer. No, it's just a little. All right, bring this in. All right, just highlights. We don't want her. Um... That was my trusty pencil sharpener. Then it's not working for some reason. Here we go. I got this uh, sharpener, there you go, from Walmart. And it actually is good for um, botchtick. Um, good for, recommended for color pencils. So there you have it. All right. So now we're gonna create a little bit of a little bit more color in the lighter shade, um, the lighter, darker areas. I know that was hard to say. Um, and really start to blend now. Really start to bring this in. I'm going to flicker as I color. And really bring her hair her hair out. Okay. Because this is a temporary hair color and her mom said it was okay. And right, we're gonna wash it out before school starts. I don't mind this stuff. Little girls coloring their hair, as long as it's not crazy colors. OK. 
Okay, that's starting to look pretty. Let's get up here. And we are on pencil number three. So we're going to, um, she's going to be the junior bride. Okay. So this is pencil number um, three. So I'm up to four pencils to try to color her hair today. And as we have learned... Concentrating on the uh, the shaded areas, doing a little bit of uh, continuing. Uh, it's going to be a sunny ocean ocean view. I mean, ocean front wedding. The gazebo is ready. Everyone is ready for this beautiful wedding. Lucy Avocado and uh, Crispy Bacon are fighting. They do that from time to time. All right. Let's see how that looks. It looks good to me. Let's zoom out, give a, I think I'm going to do a little bit more. Well, let me start with the dark. Uh, let's see what we got here. All right. Oh, that looks so pretty. All right, let's go. I'm going to work with a little bit of the dark. So we can start seeing the... Uh, Why is my, is it time for a new pencil sharpener? Always sharp pencil. PC994 of the uh, Prismacolors. And let's see. So we're going to start, this is going to be the darker color. Um... So I'm just starting these little darker areas. Just remember light, very light strokes. So we don't want to get a, um, a straight line. A very light stroke. And like I said, she's the junior bride. Got permission from her mom to color. Just temporary color, it's not going to stay in. So. Just a little bit of light strokes, lighter.
Wow, what a rainy day it is today. Alright, so you see that? Just starting to create. Need a transition here because hair doesn't do that. So just a little blend it. And then the lighter color, let's blend her out. Okay, that's that's a little bit better. That was a little bit better. I was worried there. All right, let's go up to her head and uh, start with the darkest of areas. This is such a great tool for beginners. When you get away from using grayscale, that's when you really are an expert. But we're going to take advantage. All right, so you see how I've started to stay within the dark regions. Just a little deeper pink here, which is okay. See if I can fix that because that was a boo boo right there. I moved the page. Uh, I don't like it. There we go. Let's reestablish the colors that we had there. Okay. Yes, get your uh, pencil out. And pencil color pencils do erase. Now that is hair back there, but for some reason it looks like, you can, if you can notice, it's dark. See, and I thought that was part of her hair, but I'm going to make that a part of her neck because it didn't look right. Her hair should be in the ponytail. It just, maybe I just made a mistake there and just took it, but that's her neck. So we're going to get all that out of there. Okay. Okay, that's much better. All right, let's go up uh, well, just a little bit more. This is our junior bride. Mom allowed her to color her hair. Look 
Okay? Okay. And just a little bit darker. stay away. Now I can um, I'm gonna just ah, just ever so lightly give her a shadow so that this curl has dimension. stay there. Don't worry, I'm going to finish it off with a lighter pencil. Now, what I'm going to do is, like I said, I don't want it to be um, too dark. Um, it's supposed to be just a little bit of hint. There's a little highlight at the tip of her head. I just want to... 